Hi guys, so I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I wanted to make a Q&A video as I'd mentioned before, so the purpose of this is to talk about some concepts more than other things, and it's why I'm not sitting in front of a computer, because uh, it's something more that, you know, to talk about, and so I thought I'd go for a little walk, and it would give me time to think about my answer. I won't be putting out one of these types of videos every week, uh, maybe once a month, but it will depend also on how often these types of questions are coming in. But I do want it to be a, a semi-regular feature on my channel, and uh, what was the other thing I wanted to say about that? Uh, they won't interrupt the regular flow. Uh, they're going to be released during the week, but not on Wednesday, so you still get your, your regular Wednesday video, which I know, I think you guys are enjoying. So, the question comes from Joseph Alvarez, which was, um, how, or what do I think of Bootstrap, and when should we or should we not use it? And that's an awesome question, and it's an awesome question for a few reasons. Uh, and it's why, in the comment, I said that it was... Uh, it could have a really long answer and I give him a bit of a short answer but the more I thought of it the more I, I wanted to give a better answer um, and I find with you know an awesome question like that I'd like to be able to give a thought out answer but not only that he'd be able to see I think it would benefit more than than just the one or two people who might read that comment um, so yeah I thought this would be a, a fun format to do for these longer types of questions that do come up um, so what do I think of Bootstrap? First off, I think it's amazing. I love Bootstrap. It's a really, really cool system. It's awesome, uh, really well built. So that's, you know, it, it's a fantastic, fantastic thing that some people have made and it's, it's incredible really. Um, but it's also really, really overused, like massively overused. And that's a problem. Um, so the other part of Joseph's question that was really good was that it was um, when should you or should you not use it and that's something that you should definitely always be wondering about you know all the time pretty much when you're doing these types of projects because even if it's jQuery or if it's now React is really sort of the in thing and uh, I was reading an article recently on CSS tricks about React and just how it's because it's trendy people are just using it and they're not thinking about why they want to use it um, so I think it's important that you, you think about what you want to be doing and why you're actually using different things, no matter what they are. Are you just needing a grid system? Then you shouldn't be using Bootstrap, man. Um, there's other frameworks out there that are just, a, a, literally just a grid. Uh, you can look up Skeleton, or I'll put the link to that in the description down below, uh, which is just a bare bones framework. It's just a grid system if I remember correctly uh, and there's others that are sort of in middle ground they're a little bit more robust they have some buttons they might have a navigation but they don't have all they don't have the JavaScript libraries and they don't have uh, you know the tons and tons of stuff that bootstrap does have when you are going to be making your own website it's something you really need to be thinking about you need to ask yourself do I need it am I going to be using a lot of the features that bootstrap is giving me because bootstrap gives you tons of stuff right but if you are going to use it make sure you actually read the documentation and I know that sounds incredibly boring. Reading documentation, you know, it's kind of dry. Um, but if you are going to use Bootstrap or any other one, there's Foundation, which is another popular framework, you should understand what you're doing with it. Um, it's one thing just to take something because it's popular, learn the basics of it and use it. It's another thing to really understand how it's working because then you're actually going to use it properly. And that's the most important thing. Too many people don't use Bootstrap properly. You know, use it the way it's intended to be used with all the bells and whistles that it does have so you're not doing more work than you have to be doing. The other advantage with that, I know for me, uh, when I learned how Bootstrap really worked and I finally got into the documentation and took the time to understand really how they were doing things, it made me a better coder for sure. I wasn't very good until I started getting into Bootstrap and that sort of showed me a lot of the things that people who know what they're doing do. Uh, the people who made Bootstrap are super smart. These are intelligent people. They know what they're doing. They've been doing this for a long time. They're forward thinking. And it's a lot of best practice that's included in there. So, you know, it's something to think about. And when you look through it, and it might give you ideas on how you can improve your own code. I improved my code so much. So even when I'm not using Bootstrap, I'm using some of the things that they use in their code. And for me, that I, it honestly improved my code a lot. Um, so I strongly encourage not just using it, but thinking about how you're using it, seeing how they actually do things and, you know, doing it. Um, I think it's going to make you a better coder overall. We've got a helicopter coming by by the sounds of it.
Yeah, so not only will it be a great tool for you to use and to make, you know, that will help work your workflow and help you work faster because you're using all these pre-built things, but I really do think that if you study it properly, you will become a better developer. It's one thing to practice, but not a, I don't think enough of us study. And you guys are you're here, you're watching my channel, you're listening to this. It means you're interested in becoming better developers. So another part of that can be studying and seeing, you know, that studying what other people are doing, not just through video, but through things that exist out there today, like Bootstrap, like Foundation. Yeah, thanks again for the question, Joseph. Geez, now I'm being blinded by the sun. First the helicopter, now the sun's come out from the clouds. One thing I'd love for you guys to do uh, down in the comments below is if you could tell me what you think of Bootstrap, uh, how you use Bootstrap, if you use Bootstrap. I'd love that this conversation could continue down below in the comments. And if you have any general other questions that you think might be good for this type of thing too, by all means, leave them down below in the comments. One last comment about Bootstrap, of course. Uh, Bootstrap, I will be doing a video series on Bootstrap shortly-ish. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking about it, so I have started working on it. I'm just not sure about the best way to approach it and exactly how I'm going to do it. But if you have any ideas for a type of site you'd like to see designed with Bootstrap, uh, leave it down below because I'm thinking about doing it as a design followed by the code. So I'd show you how I'm designing it followed by how I'm coding it. Uh, but I just don't know what type of site to design. So if you have any ideas or input on that, also leave it in the comments below and that would be awesome. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take it easy guys.